Hi, this is PC Roger, and in this short video, what I want to show you is how to set the network address on a brand new or maybe a um, you know refurbished or just reusing an APC 9617 uh, network management uh, card, kind of like the one uh, that's pictured here on Amazon. And the one I have that I'm working with is actually in a uh, automatic transfer switch in AP7750 that I just got brand new. What you can do is use a utility the APC gives you, but uh, if you don't have that, or sometimes it just seems easier to do it the way that uh, I'm going to show you right now, then you know what you've got. If you have a brand new card, it's pretty easy to find the MAC address on one of these, and the MAC address is simply uh, six, uh, looks like two digit you know, characters that identify uniquely in, to the network what this actual device is. There are a couple of commands that we can use, and this is in Windows, the commands are different for Linux, to assign a temporary address. Now first, the address of my machine here, as you can see, is uh, 10.1.0.127. So I want to put this card on a, uh, a network that I can actually see with this machine. So I'm going to pick 10.1.0. Uh, I'm going to go 19. But the first thing we do here is an ARP command. And then the MAC address of this particular device, which I'm getting from a little piece of paper that was taped onto the, the brand new unit. And now once we type in that ARP command, we can simply use a, a, some options on the ping command to set the address. And this is a dash lowercase l, and this says 113 bytes. Now once we have the address set, it's pretty easy to open up our web browser. I use Firefox here. And we will type in that new address. And now we get the authentication box for the APC card. That tells us uh, that we are on the right unit. And by default, username and password is just APC in lowercase. And here you can see we have the unit. It's all set up. And it was just that easy to set this device to the IP address of our choice. We didn't have to change the IP address on our machine, didn't have to load any fancy software. And that's what I kind of like to do sometimes. Uh, some of these utilities are, are sometimes more trouble than what they're worth. It's just quicker to do it uh, the manual way. So I hope this video has been helpful. Please stop by my website, www.pcroger.com. I have a lot of other information there, and you can sign up for my free e-letter. Thanks for watching.